This is Twit. Um, this is ISS Spotter. ISS starts st stands for the International Space Station. This is the most interesting thing you've played with all. Yes, okay. it is. I was in the woods most the of the International week, Space Station. So there it is, traveling. So, um, hey guys, in Fredrickson, New Brunswick. Uh, New Brunswick. Um, it's you just flying right it. over you, Minto. Look how fast Chapman. it moves. Look at that. That thing. That thing's trucking. <laughs> So uh, we, you can see when it's going, where it is at any time. If you want to see, like if you get lost in the map and you're like, where is it? You press this little lock here and then it'll just lock Zip. right there. So you can just watch it. Oh, so fly. it moves, the map moves with it. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's always centered. Yeah. Um, it is if you have it locked. If so not, why can... do we care where the International Space Station is? Well, uh, you, because it, you can see it. You can you see can it actually fly see over it. If you. you so, if you look at sunrise or sunset. Is how about in the middle of the night, John? The sun it, won't hit it. Huh? The sun will not hit it. The sun will not hit it. So you got to get it so the sun's hitting it, so it, it oh, it's off. and then bounces it off of it into your eyes. So otherwise, it's just this dark thing in the dark sky. You right. don't see it. It's got no. It doesn't have lights of its own. Is what it, we're saying. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's kind of cool because it is moving pretty fast across yeah. the night sky. So we got all excited about this when we discovered that we could do this with this app. Mm -hmm. And Lisa says, oh, it's coming. It's going to be over. Let's take a picture. And then I found out it comes over every 90 minutes. It's not like it's you can't see it a once-in-a-lifetime well. event. But, yeah, you want to time it. First of all, it's not always going over you. It's moving. It's precessing through the earth. Mm -hmm. But also... Uh, you do have to get it kind of at just the right time so the sun will hit it so you can see it. Mm -hmm. But when it does, it looks like a very bright object, a star moving really rapidly across the sky. A it's very like, fast, bright plane, sort of. Yeah. In the sky. But you can tell it's not a plane, though. Yeah, you can. Because it's moving a lot faster, for one thing. And it's brighter. Yeah. It doesn't take, it only takes a few minutes to cross the whole sky. Yeah. So. Uh, I like this. What's it called? It's called ISS Spotter. Spotter. I think there's something just interesting to know that it's up there. Like we hear about all these things in space and just to go out and see it. I don't know. I, like I said, I spent, I, I spent the week with 14 year olds, 13 and 14 year olds. There are people inside there flying over and Russians. I don't know. My kids get, I get excited because they got excited. They all like went out. Oh, and they it's were, so cool. Yeah. That's exactly why we did it. Because it's great to get kids excited about yes, about exactly. space flight and space travel. We so wanna, we want to get them excited. So Milo actually showed my son actually showed me this app, and so he has it set. He has an alarm set so that he knows to go outside at these certain times. So you, these oh, are stars nice. like uh, on October. How good it'll be! On yeah, on October tenth at seven thirty eight, it's going to be three stars. That's perfect because it's yeah, yeah sunset. Yeah. Um, and then you can set um, alarms according to, um, you can share the alarms and with now, your friends. don't think that that's the time for where you live because it's different. Right. Is, this is, has my GPS. This is Northern California. Yeah. Um, and so here are all the settings. So you can have an alarm that's five minutes or you want to prepare for an hour. Do we still, John, have our Raspberry Pi ISS above signaler? Oh. Yeah. So this thing goes off whenever the is is above us <laughs> so maybe like you only want the peak elevation to be 10 degrees that's or, relevant too yeah. yeah if you're on a mountain versus um, yeah and then this is auto locate oh, not you it's the iss <laughs> not, like let's not your say, peak elevation yeah <laughs> so yeah actually 10 degrees is pretty low in the sky you might want a little bit higher right, right? yeah so let's say you want to tell your cousin in anaheim um so you, oh, can, you can do that too you can yeah you can choose you a can custom send, location send so. cousin in anaheim yes. to, hey good Time news format dis Distance, um, TLE source, you know, the TLE What's that? source. <laughs> Great question. Celestrack, Amstat, Space Track. Uh huh. Someone in the chat room probably knows what. Uh, what That's those time limited are. extensions. That's the oh. source of. No, I'm making that Time up. limited <laughs> extensions. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Total length of era. Um, and then some. Event. Total oh, length okay. of event. Okay. Um, John knows. He's making so it up too. All these quick facts. Here's what it looks like. How many people are living there? Normally yeah. three to six people stay yeah. at the ISS. Yeah. yeah. Um, when That's pretty cool. So some good facts here. And then this is free, but you can donate 99 cents or 2.99 if you want. But it, is, it will always be free. There's no extra features you get. We've had the guy on uh, the new screensavers who created ISS Above, which is really neat. It's a little kit you can get with a Raspberry Pi and does that have a light that goes off, John? Is that what happens? Yeah. Okay, a little light. Where is it? Is it in your office? Uh, yes. It's in John's office. So John, at any moment, might leap up and say, The plane! Yes. The plane! 
So the developer of ISS Spotter uh, is Martin Van Mierlu. Hello, Martin. Thank you. That's, I think that's really neat. I agree. And it's fun. What you want to do, you can just use this yourself to figure out a really good time, you know, a three-star time to see it, and then say, kids, make it a big deal. That's what we did with Michael. And it was really fun. Mm -hmm. There it is. That's the space station. Yeah. Yep. My kids get, they all get on Hangouts together, with, and then they're all looking at it. Do they really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, they're nerds. That's Total nice. Total nerds. I love that. 